Today I want to do a review of this wireless headset system that I bought on Amazon. Um, I've been looking for a wireless headset system for a little while to uh, help with my YouTube videos because sometimes I'm not right by the camera. And I found this on Amazon. It's uh, about $55. Um, it's a 900 megahertz system. It works really good. I've been very pleased with it so far. But I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly I'm dealing with it. As you can see on the box, it's uh, it has a lavalier mic. It's got that's a lapel mic. It's a UHS system. It works with a phone, a camera, or a computer. I've tested it with all three, so I can verify it does work. It generally works as advertised. There's a couple of things they advertise that are not exactly true, though. Um, this is made by or sold by Yehai only. It's a Chinese company. They sell on Amazon, and I've found this same headset from sale for sale by about 10 different companies or 10 different Amazon sellers. So I think this must be a generic product that people brand in their own name. And it's interesting, if you look at the tag, they put 5GAZ, which makes you think, if you don't know any better, that, that makes you think this is five gigahertz. Well, that's not true. Um, as you can see in the picture, this is a 900 megahertz system. It's a UHF system. They claim it'll do 295 feet barrier-free transmission. And that's not exactly true either. Most of these products that you buy from China on Amazon, you know, they, they, um, they exaggerate what the product will do. This product I found will do about 150 to 175 feet just fine with no barriers. If you have barriers in between, you know, 40, 50 feet, but you start having a break up about that point. Um, and I've gotten a good signal as far away as 200 feet, but it has to be ideal weather conditions. When you open the box, here's everything that comes in it. You get this pamphlet, which tells you pretty much everything you need to know. It tells you how to pair the receiver and the transmitter. These have to be paired for it to work, and whenever you change channels on your transmitter, you have to repair it. Um, anyhow, let's get into it. Uh, Here's the transmitter you receive in the package, and you plug your microphone in there. This has a little power switch. It's got a microphone port, USB charging port. This is the receiver. It's also got an on-off switch, a USB port, charging port, and it's got some indicator lights that indicate if the battery's low, if it's charging, or if it's paired. This comes with a banana-style plug, plug-in, um, if you want to use this with a phone, laptop, or camera, you have to use one of the adapters that comes with it. It comes with three different adapters, and they have a little sticker on attached to each one. So the receiver plugs in like that. This end plugs into your camera. Here's one for the telephone, and it looks just like the, uh, the one for the camera, except the contacts are different on it but they're very similar. Then there's one of these. This is also an adapter and it also comes with a microphone that you can plug straight into the transmitter. So you can plug this guy in right there if you want to. Um, let's see, it comes with uh, this lapel mic, which I use. I've had this for about two weeks and I've been using it and I've been very happy with it. I think I've done four videos now with it. It also comes with uh, this microphone which can be mounted onto this headset, which comes with it. It's real simple. You just slide it on like that, and it works really good. It also comes with a uh, sort of a, a double charger. You plug this end into your USB, this end into your receiver and transmitter at the same time, and it charges them up. It comes with a mount, a coal shoe mount to put on your camera which I'll show you how that works in just a minute. Comes with a microphone cover. A lot of people call this a dead cat. And it also comes with a small tripod. And the tripod is designed for blogging. It's a, a spring-loaded tripod. Here's how it works. You put your phone in just like this, and then you can see yourself, I guess, when you're, when you're vlogging. So we'll set that right over there. That's how that works. Um, let's turn it on. Well, before I turn it on, let me show you how the, how the camera part works. So, here's my Nikon camera, and this has a hot boot. 
So what I'm going to do is put this mount on here, just like that. Then the receiver plugs in, just like this. And um, actually, I think I've got it backwards. You can put the receiver in, just like this. Let's move the box out of the way. Then you take your banana plug adapter, plug it from there. And this part goes into the microphone port on your camera. So then you have the receiver on your camera. And this works really well. I've used it several times. I haven't had any problem with it. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it. Overall, I'm very happy with this product. Uh, let me show you how it works when I use it with a GoPro. So, I've got the receiver here. And I'm going to leave this uh, camera adapter on because the GoPro is a camera. I've got the transmitter. I'm going to plug the microphone, lapel microphone cable up to the transmitter. And this is a screw on connector, which I like because once you screw it on, it's on there. It's not coming loose. And uh, one of the, I actually had a roadie mic, which had a, um, had a connector just like this, but it didn't screw on. It just plugged in and I kept unplugging it by mistake. So I'm going to clip this onto my shirt. Now, one of the things I found about this is that if you turn this on and plug it up to the GoPro while you're videoing, you won't capture any audio. In fact, this is about the third time I've done this review. And uh, every time I've wondered, I've tried to figure out why am I sound cut out it's because i turned this on and plugged it up to the gopro while i was shooting now if you notice the the indicator light here is flashing blue and green it's trying to pair to the receiver to the uh, transmitter so it looks like it's paired now i'm going to plug it into the gopro but before i do this i'm going to tell you i might i might lose audio so we're going to see how this works Okay, so um, I found that when I plugged it up to the GoPro, it actually did not capture sound, and that's one of the problems with it. And I've, I've looked on the internet and tried to resolve this issue. I've seen other people who have the same issue, and I've also contacted the company, and the company said there's nothing wrong, that um, it's probably a problem with your GoPro. That's the bad part. If you plug it up while you're videoing, you're not gonna capture sound. Now here's, here's the ugly part of this. I said I would talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you notice, this, uh, the receiver and transmitter both have this whip antenna. That's not a replaceable antenna. I know it's hard to see. I'm getting a little bit close. Let's look at this one. That antenna is built in, and it's just a whip style antenna. It's a very uh, flimsy antenna, and I know it's gonna break off at some point, so I'm gonna have to take the chassis apart to replace the antenna. I think they should have made that a replaceable antenna, but for $55, you know, I guess you, you get what you pay for. Um, the other thing is the battery that's in this, I found it doesn't last a long time. I've used, uh, I've used this for about two weeks, just about every day, and on average I'd say I get 20 to 25 minutes of uh, talk time before it just runs out. And, and the longer range, the longer the range is, the less time your battery works. So it must adjust the power to um, accommodate a weaker signal, I'm guessing. But uh, anyhow, overall, I've been very happy with it for the price. You really can't beat it. It's, um, it's a pretty good deal. And it does pretty much what they say. Um, it just doesn't have the range they say. Doesn't have really great battery power. And I know these antennas are gonna break off at some point. But um, anyhow, it's a good product. So what I'm gonna do now is go outside and we're gonna do a range test. And I'll show you exactly how much range you get with this. So we'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna do a test on the, uh, the range of this wireless microphone system and of the uh, frequency, the, the range of audible frequencies it'll pick up. I'm going to walk up the street that way. I've got the transmitter for the microphone in my pocket. I've got the microphone itself on my shirt. And then I've got the, um, the receiver plugged into the back of the GoPro right there. So as each house in our neighborhood has a lot that's approximately 50 feet wide. So hopefully I can walk up about four houses while playing the piano music on my phone. 
And um, I'm playing the piano music so that you can hear the, the width of frequencies that the, um, the microphone will pick up. And it's not going to be perfect, but it'll give you some idea of just how, how good the sound is and how good the range is. So here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to measure the distance where the sound faded away, and I'll put it in the video for you. GoPro, stop recording.